Kwesinyante Chi, the Football Association president, who boasted that he will be the only one to decide when anybody is fit to replace him as FA president. Such patrons latered into uncontrolled ego. But he's no longer relevant. Let's look ahead, please. If we can ask relevant questions, I'm ready to answer them. The minister is not relevant. At a point, Nyantechi was more focused on advancing his own interest than that of Ghana football. Thank you very much. We were very clear to Kwesi Nyantechi that the money we, gave, we were giving to him was a gift. On this occasion, he took an amount of $65,000. Unfortunately, his intransigence also grew into dictatorship. The banker cum lawyer found a way to modify the status of the FA, making it easy for him to occupy the position of president without any challenge. Those who are for the amendment, please let's see by hand. The new test, that is the old amendment should be changed. Tu tu lam dwana tu la sana tu luma Born to Ewa Lamada and an Akan father from Kwaso in the Ashanti region, Nyantechi grew up in Wa where he had his early education. A practicing Muslim, Nyantechi was born Christian but reverted to Islam from age of 47 after his mother remarried a Muslim man years back in the 70s. Nyantechi has a wife, Christine Mary Nyantechi. He has two children with his wife, Christine. It was just over a decade ago, precisely December 30th, 2005, when a Tyro Nyantechi's hand was raised as the newly elected president of the Ghana Football Association. Though the least experienced among five other candidates, Kojo Bonsu, Adekoka, and Vincent Odote Sowa, the one native easily swept aside his competitors to land Ghana football's top job. Out of a total 123 votes cast, the then 37-year-old pulled a hoop in 91. It is a landslide victory, the BBC reported. That day, there was jubilation galore inside the Kama Conference Center, where the elections were held. But outside the venue, the jubilation was even greater. It was the beginning of a new dawn, a change so much craved by the average football thirsty Ghanaian. At the time, the Ghana football was at its lowest ebb. had failed to qualify for the 2004 Africa Cup of Nations, the Black Queens were struggling to make meaningful impact at tournaments. The Black Starlets had qualified for just one tournament in the previous six years. The Black Starlets were coming on the back of missing two successive U20 World Cup tournaments, and the GFA itself was a house lacking order. <laughs> Nyan 
City's election was supposed to spearhead the period of renaissance for Ghana football, one which would inspire hope among his over 20 million compatriots. And in truth, it did. Ghana, a well-known football nation, was getting back on track, and the then 37-year-old regarded as a novice was the forefront of that revolution. In his victory speech, the 180 spoke touchingly and passionately, outlining his goals and promising to build an FA without factions, one without nepotism, an FA for all. The trust you have in me comes with a duty to serve all members of the association, and I'll do my best to fulfill that responsibility without fear or favor, without discrimination, and with the sole objective of upholding the status and regulations of the Ghana Football Association. Of his word, Nyan Techi began the transformation of Ghana football in impeccable fashion. Samuel Boy wins it for Hart to Folk. And Samuel Boy again. And Hart to Folk have scored. Guess who scored? It is the man you've been talking about. 2 2. What a game, what a comeback. I said we're going to test your season here. And they went to sleep and they got punished. Pent up celebration from House of Oak fans. Manson to offers he led the Black Stars to a first ever World Cup qualification in Germany 2006. Even better, the Ghana national team debutant of the global showpiece made it to the round of 16 stage of the tournament. It was a grandiose feat one which aged Nyan Techi's name in the history books of the country. A year after that memorable debut World Cup appearance, Ghana won the rise to host the 2008 Africa Cup of Nations AFCON. And although the Black Stars failed to win the tournament, eventually finishing third successfully, hosting the rest of the Africa was considered an accomplishment. But more successes followed, both for Nyantechi himself and the various football national teams. If they're going to get a goal, they're going to have to get it in the next 20 seconds. And Montari goes for goal! What did I say? With 15 seconds on the clock in the opening half, Africa strikes, Ghana strikes, and Sully Montari has got the only goal of this half. In nine years, the 49-year-old lawyer had truly delivered, as he promised, and on a personal level, his reputation has also grown both in Africa and globally. First, he was elected as president of the West African Football Union, Wafu Zone B, a position he successfully retained for two more terms. In 2015, he was enskinned as a ceremonial chief of war by the Upper West Region Traditional Council under the title Jenjen Nasum Male, roughly translated as Patron of Development. Nyantichi's permanence meant he was not only adored in Ghana, but also outside the shores of West African country, having been named as part of the organizers of football at the London 2012 Olympics. Nyantichi was also elected onto the CAV executive committee. Then the biggest of all followed. The Wall of Stars owner was elected as FIFA council member in 2016 before being appointed as CAF first vice president after Ahmad Ahmad replaced Isa Hayatu as the confederation's head. President of Guinea's Football Association Almami Kabili and CAF's executive committee member Kwisi Nyantaki from Ghana made history with their election. He had become a god, one worshipped in and outside this country.
But although Ghana football was back on the map, it came as a prize one which Nyante Chiwod eventually paid for. By 2014, Ghanaians had become used to their qualifying for the World Cup and following a scandalous outing in Brazil, which was dodged by player unrest and bonus rules, Nyantichi started to face ten scrutiny. And uh, I am very, very happy to be here today. Yes. And I really appreciate the good work you're doing. Yes. Uh, the work of this commission will do a lot of good to Ghana football. Yes. Already it has cleared a lot of misconceptions yes. and my presence here will further clear more misconceptions yes. because when you are in football they think you are a thief, you are a criminal. Yes. That's the presumption. Secretary. And you are presumed Secretary. 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 <laughs> and you are, you are, you are, presumed, you are presumed guilty before you prove your innocence. Yeah. My Lord, as a justice of the Court of Appeal, will you accept that? You will not, my lord. I don't expect you to answer. I'll answer it myself. <laughs> but you are the presidential commission of Frank because of the secret deal, Bassa, 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 and the course of the World Cup and the discipline. Where are the best president? What happened to Ghana football? What nonsense? The idea is that the people who are running up in Massa and then I'm seeing that they are fire. They are being turned on. The idea is a son. It's because you're the only person who can handle Ghana football. What nonsense? Said the best thing that has happened to Ghana football. What shall I say if you are Ghana football now? Way. And I own him Ghana football. Home. So I own Ghana football. I'm running in China Ghana football. Ghana football. No, I'm not buying it. I'm not taking trophies. One year, no, I'm not going to have come. No, I'm going Olympic Games. I'm going to be the director of sports. No, no one here. Sports Authority Stadium. I'm going to have to buy a paint. But that time now, I'm going to have to buy a new one. I'm going to have to buy a new one. I'm going to have to buy a new one. I'm going to have to buy a new one. I'm going to have to buy a new one. I'm going to Nti busa ho se ye si wi na na China form a stadium an cheya ye dwi si bi Nti na bona ba forma na sa empany form di Ghana league e be ye ma kotokomo kwa Africa to so four times after four times ko united mo kono ene ye wa sa FA president ni bi FA for ba form ma dwi ba form the leader of the football administration we say wa bon se in central for ye ya bon ba o de toto football ho dia enye because every mobile went to me the two years by the Afcon. Three years no I two. No co Olympic game. Also by a twelve years, thirteen. Went to me in the Afcon. To watch a Ghana cough a chile fifty years. But he has to accept this is the most wasteful football association we have ever had in history. No president has crossed the five year mark. He has done that. Failure to qualify for the 2018 World Cup attracted more criticism. Again in 13 years under Nyantichi, Ghana never for once qualified for the Olympic Games. As the disparities increasingly sprang, so was Nyantichi's popularity warning. <laughs> more worrying was the fact that the local game seriously stagnated in that period there was so much concentration on the black stars that everything else had become less important the local league especially saw its stock fall to the extent that it was almost nothing to write home about I 
our local league has gone down, it's not attractive the way it should be. We know today, if the league is that attractive, we've been talking about sponsorship. If the league is that attractive, why are we not getting a sponsor? Why? You know, we see it's because of Minister Nekasa. Me, I have said that I'm ready to sign and give tax incentive to anybody who wants to sponsor the league. It just sends a message across that probably he doesn't know his work. You know, but excuse me to say that, but I think that it's important for us to appreciate the fact that anybody who finds himself in public office owes a duty to do well and follow procedure, law, and so forth without introducing mediocrity and any personal dislike for people. His personal hatred for me or the GFA, I think, blighted his work and made him a big disappointment to that uh, ministry that he headed. It's very unfortunate, but that's the facts. I mean, we can't run away from the facts. It's better he, uh, he, he appreciates the facts and then move on. But he's no longer relevant. Let's look ahead, please. If we can ask relevant questions, I'm ready to answer them. The minister is not relevant. He built a cartel of lieutenants, both around the FA and in the media, who he used to cover up his shortfalls. This was a bunch who swore to defend him in matters where he had no escape routes. Such power translated into uncontrolled ego. At a point, Nyantichi was more focused on advancing his own interests than that of Ghana football. Unfortunately, his intransigence also grew into dictatorship. The banker come lawyer found a way to modify the status of FA, making it easier for him to occupy the position of president without any challenge. Members of the association who tried to challenge him were either ostracized or alienated. And for those who dared to question some of his decisions, Nyantichi made sure they were put in their place. I will be the one to decide when anybody is fit to replace me as FA president, he once declared. President Ujana Shewa. Obeba. Still Nyantichi. Of course. Still FA president. Of course, of course. No challenger. Now, who now be challenging me? More fire. But in case, I'm out for me. 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 I'm out for Obi Mreso amena me shira ne so se me mraso me nya nya me o but me wo ya me ama me achede a me de be hu saade e no enti do se wo songo na o mraso me fa sa o mraso wo jane so ke go beba in 13 years as Ghana FA boss and after three terms in office Nyantechi twice contested unopposed his 13 year reign saw seeing him work with four different deputies, three of whom he infamously fell out with. Uh, somehow, somewhere, I will quit. Uh, I believe that a time will come when I have to uh, put down my tools and uh, take off my boots and probably put on a different. You boot. haven't decided yet? I have. I've announced already. Or you're the president of Ghana Football Association. Mm -hmm. Or you're first vice president of CAF. Mm -hmm. Or you're FIFA executive council member. Why granting an interview to Graphic Sports? Why interview to your sister station Joy FM? Mm -hmm. Why interview to Vision One FM? All in three different occasions. Or see me, Ura me in Kobio. What I want everybody to understand is that those were his words. Mm -hmm. If tomorrow, Ochengi Nagin, and like in Penfo Bessie, Kwasia, and then Sisa Nagin, what people need to understand the word trust. Trust in that bracket of his stature. Oh, yes, Adina, he knows the consequences. But in all, the Ghanaian public was watching, bidding their time to strike back. After all, their opinions were no longer relevant to Nyantichi and his cohorts running Ghana's football. They were regarded as fans and nothing more. How many times had they been reminded that football is run by football people and that they own no club, were no executive committee members and had no votes at FA's Congress? The passion of the people had been hijacked 
by a selected few. And so it was no surprising that Nantechi incrimination in the Anasas Pose sparked joy among many in and around Accra. <laughs> Clear to Kwesini Antechi that the money we gave we were given to him was a gift. On this occasion, he took an amount of sixty-five thousand dollars. This was a man once regarded as a national god. Yet his drastic fall from grace to grass was celebrated across length and breadth of the country like an independence day. Nyantechi had his chance, but he blew it away. No country rejoices when one of its prominent sons is left in ignominy. But here, Ghanaians rejoiced, with many taking delight in his capitulation. A combination of intransigence, overconfidence and poor counselling ultimately proved to be Nyantichi's undoing. My sad aspect is this. If this is what the president saw, if this is what the president saw, and the brand that you were sent to the police station, and in just, in just a day, Nanteji did not spend one day in a police station. Nanteji was left to go home. And he went home without anything happening. Then I am asking myself, what did the president see on the table? That, that all the things that I have seen, that strike me so badly that I feel sad, did not have any impact on the president that that guy should be t detained in the police station for two, three days and prepare for the court. This will be an opportunity and a wake up call for the ordinary man women and youth to say enough is enough. We are all equal in front of the law, before the law, and we must demand social justice, justice for every Ghanaian. I hope every person who's offered a bribe will think twice now, you know? So this disclosure, this terrible, terrible video, I hope would serve a purpose. No one was in touch with you. As a man, I demand your coupon. And when you first say Adrian Bonne, a bar a boy could have dreamed of Tongo. So I didn't put you in the DNA. You can't or say evidence, evidence. When your coupon is there, Anas, no one is going to come back with Junior. So see a day, Obiya can evidence on the day. No, as a man, I demand your coupon. And then you're missing part. Obiya, no one could have said something. Because you're not going to be in two years. Because you're not going to get two years. You're not going to be in for life. Anyway, no, 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 no
Who starts to the car? Not the FIFA. Wama, Wama, Obia, Obia, send him a message. You have to send that and say, Hey, Jonah, you have a band here. Now, I'm going to buy you. See, I'm not buying from Zoe. Hey, FIFA is coming here. Now, I'm going to buy you. And you're buying from Zoe. When you pass, and you're so much of that. In the space of a week, a war all-star owner had have gone from Ghana FA president, Cup One vice president, and FIFA council member to a disgraced football administrator, looted by the majority of his countrymen. He had simply lost everything he ever worked for. The uh, GFA stands dissolved, as we speak. It's been dissolved. Uh, government believes that uh, football. It's a passion of the nation. Football unites Ghanaians. And it's a major tool for job creation for young people. And so, therefore, we need to secure the future of young people through football. And we need to save football from the kind of image that it is having now. We need to have a new image, rebranding, repackaging of football to make it more attractive for Ghanaians to enjoy. Ghanaians love the game of football, so whatever it takes for government to make it more attractive, we need to do that. That is the decision the government has taken. And in view of the expose by Anas and also other issues in the past, this is the time for us to save Ghana football. So we are doing just that. So GFA, uh, if you watched the video yesterday, we have observed that a lot of issues have been raised, allegations of corruption, bribery, uh, fraud, rot in the system. So the government has decided that uh, GFA should be dissolved for us to repackage, rebrand GFA to be more attractive. So that is what the government has decided. In Ghana government appointed businessman Dr. Kofi Amwa as the chairman of a four member normalization committee that will run Ghana football and organize the election of new executives of the Ghana Football Association GFA. But as it stands, very few will recall all that. Rather, he will be remembered as being the FA president under whose tenure. The Black Star was made all about dollar notes, under whose regime corruption became the norm, under whose supervision the local league deteriorated to its lowest age. 